Welcome to Tech in 5, where you can get your tech news in five minutes. My name is Christina, and this is your weekly download. Well, folks, I just returned from Las Vegas attending NetSuite's annual conference called Sweet World. Uh, it's probably my fourth year attending and just a great event as usual. NetSuite really pays attention to packing their conferences with uh, great vendors, great content training, uh, networking, as well as entertainment. And this year, the food was fabulous as well. So here are a couple of highlights I think you should know about. Um, some great things coming out from Las Vegas. One thing you'll need to know is that Las Vegas is still Las Vegas and has not changed because of the pandemic. <laughs> I'm including some pictures you can, you can verify. But um, let's see, one of the great things that happened was the kickoff keynote by uh, Mr. Wonderful Kevin O'Leary himself. Uh, his chat was was significantly different from some of the other keynotes that I've had the pleasure of participating in. What I really appreciated about uh, Mr. Wonderful's uh, perspective and his voice was sharing actual real case scenarios that have relevance to NetSuite, where he has perhaps advised that his um, funded startups use NetSuite to help their businesses grow. And adding into those experiences or those case studies, actual trends of what we might be able to expect in the future. So thanks so much for that. Very compelling information for people who are always looking to the future to see what we can work on next. In addition to that, we had the opportunity to attend a women's luncheon sponsored by Deloitte, which discussed the gender gap disparity, which unfortunately we have found and continue to find more statistics that support and demonstrate the, the significant disparity that was exacerbated through the pandemic. Uh, we'll have a whole nother episode dedicated to that one of really great information and statistics that we should all be aware of. Um, so thanks to Deloitte for sponsoring some great women up on stage to talk about how they, uh, they uh, face the challenges of the pandemic for themselves personally and for their companies that they help grow. Now, what's interesting that came out of every conference from a tech company always has an unveiling of something new and innovative. And in this case, one thing that really caught my eye was NetSuite's unveiling or launching of what is called Suite Billing. So this is a new module that they are offering to NetSuite customers, which sits right on the NetSuite core platform and uses, of course, your suite list. So it's a built for NetSuite um, app or module, which they use in, in sweet, uh, NetSuite language <laughs> uh, jargon. And Suite Billing has a couple of really great things that are really relevant right now in the marketplace. We see a lot of new faces, a lot of new logos popping up in the marketplace for payments automation. And that is what Suite Billing is all about. It is an APAR automation tool, which allows your AP uh, procure to pay cycle to happen seamlessly with auto detection of um, POs and invoices and billing all the way from your invoice to cash where you can automate that cycle as well. It's doubly exciting because it's powered by HSBC, which is a global bank with over 40 million customers. So its footprint is quite large. And so because of that, we suspect that NetSuite's going to enjoy some significant growth in this area. A couple of other things that are included in the Suite Billing app include expense management, so giving employees the ability to automate or to track their employee expenses directly into the Suite Billing app. It also includes um, uh, virtual cards for employees to use for payments and uh, making it easy to track and to uh, automate the entire cycle of expense management. I did forget to include that on the um, the uh, AR automation, so for you, those invoices, there is a payment link now that can be included within those invoices and sent out to vendors, clients, customers to make the payments easier. And so um, let's see if there's anything else that I'm missing here. I think that that covers the big chunks of it. There are some additional uh, cash flow management uh, tools in included inside of the automated billing or the, the suite billing uh, module for NetSuite. So lots to look forward to here. Now, this is, um, I'm gonna add into this, talking about banks, commercial banking and payment automation. So while in some businesses, it might not be entirely important to have automation on the payments and um, invoicing side, maybe because of volume, maybe just because your, your particular business model doesn't uh, do a lot of volume in that area. 
for businesses that do have heavy payments uh, requirements and uh, billing requirements, then this is a great tool. And it's important to banks because it provides an additional layer of security. The more that that process can be secure digitally from point to point and substantiated or supported by commercial banking, then the more secure those transactions are actually going to be and the better off it's going to be for everybody involved. So um, again, massive growth in the payments industry this year. Look forward to lots of new logos popping up, some that are part of um, core ERP system ecosystem. So they are apps to add into plug and play into the actual ERP itself. And some of those are built for uh, the particular, the software. And in this case, we're looking at, Neats, at NetSuite. So we have suite billing built for NetSuite and looking forward to see what happens in the future. Stay tuned for more developments on what we uncovered during uh, Suite World and some new and great software that goes into ERPs also visible at Suite World. See you next time. Thanks for tuning in.